Hi, it's Corrine, and today I wanted to share deco foil with you. You may have already seen videos on this, however, um, I thought I would do a video in case there's any of you out there that have never seen this used or have never heard about it. It's really fun to play with. So I got all my deco foil from Blitzy. I'm not sponsored by Blitzy in any way. I just absolutely love Blitzy. And I'll put a referral code down in the description bar. One of the things I like about Blitzy besides their prices is if you use my referral code, I will get credit. But by using my referral code, if you've not opened up an account with them, I believe they give you a $10 credit for your first purchase by creating an account and making a purchase. And I still believe, I'm not positive, I still believe as of today, which is October 3rd, 2016, if you spend $29, you get free shipping. So like I said, I'm not sponsored by Blitzy in any way. I just absolutely love them. Check the description box for a referral code. And then once you open up an account and make a purchase, they will give you a referral code that you can have friends purchase from and they will get credit as well. So their prices, because I was going to buy the deco foil, I looked on Amazon, I looked several different places and Blitzy's prices were about a dollar, um, I think $1.20 to $1.50 cheaper on every single one of these. So I absolutely love their prices. I got all of these colors from uh, Blitzy and they come in tubes with five different sheets. They also sell packages of 20 sheets and you can buy these anywhere, any craft store, Amazon, anything, but um, you will find that the prices are cheaper on Blitzy. So this here is silver. Then we also have, they don't have every color in the in the 20 sheets. This is the rainbow, look how cool that is. And then we also have gold and rose gold as well, which I recently just used the rose gold and it's absolutely gorgeous. So let me just show you here. Um, I have, what I'm gonna be using is a laminator. This is a laminator I got probably 10 to 15 years ago from Target. If I remember correctly, it was $24 and it is a heated laminator. So it works really well. Heidi Swap also sells the Mink Machine, which I don't quite know the prices. I know she has a smaller one and a larger one. The larger one goes for about $120. But to me, it does the exact same thing. Here are some samples of just playing around with the glitter. Um, excuse me, not the glitter, the foil. The key to using these is a laser printer. If you have an inkjet printer, it will not work. You need a laser printer. If you don't own a laser printer, it, you can take them to any copy store. You would just simply bring in what you want or you can print out what you want on your inkjet printer take it into any copy store or even grocery stores. If you see they have a big printer in their customer service area, those are usually going to be laser printers. You can simply scan in or copy what you bring in. So if you printed this out, you could just copy that onto their printer, probably bring your own cardstock, and it'll print out on a laser printer, and then you can do this exact same thing as I'm doing. So I printed these out on a laser printer, and cut them out with my Cameo, and look how cute that is. So I used the two different colors on this. This again was just black ink, printed out on a laser printer. This I did polka dots, this is the silver uh, quarter foil, and this is a tag that I did for an album. I'm covering up the person's last name because I don't have permi permission to use it. But I did use the rose gold, and look how gorgeous that makes on a tag. So I simply want to show you a couple different things, and I'm going to show you how I did this one as well. Here I have printed out, you do not need a Cameo to do this, however you can take it a step further if you do have a Cricut or a Cameo. So I printed this out from my laser printer. I'm going to, being that I have the registration marks, I'm going to send it through my Cameo and cut it out and then add foil to it. Okay, so we'll do that in a moment. I also have this. I've already done this printed from my laser printer. And to get a tag like this, I'm first going to cut my tag out from some 
digital paper here and then print out the um, fonts or the wording from my laser printer. So what I mean by that is here's a tag. I'm using a Knitwit Collections, Authentic is the paper line. I printed and cut this out from my Cameo. I printed this on my inkjet printer. Then I'm going to add wording with my laser printer. And I'll show you that here in a moment. So let's just start with the simple ones here. Again, just to reiterate, these have been cut from, or excuse me, printed from the laser printer. So let me cut this out and I'll be Okay, so this I cut out from my Cameo, and this is a really delicate die. And again, just to reiterate, I first printed this out with my laser printer, this as well. When you run it through the hot laminator, it will reactivate that um, laser printer. It's, it's a powder. It'll reactivate that and the foil will stick to it. So now I just simply need to cut a piece of foil for both of these. And I think for this one, I'm going to use gold. He, the rolls, like I mentioned earlier, come with five sheets and they're very thin. They're easy to get stuck together. So you wanna be careful that you're not grabbing two pieces and cutting two pieces. So you just wanna cut enough that's gonna cover it. And I won't worry about cutting across this way just yet because what we don't use we can cut off later and save. So for this one I'm going to use some silver. And now I have a piece of copy paper, just a, a lightweight piece of copy paper. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to set my piece down in here with the foil pretty side up. Make sure it's completely covering your design. Sandwich that in here. Let me move this aside. And now here I have my laminator heating and I have it on a chopping block. I put it under a piece of um, Ranger craft mat when I was playing with it before, thinking that that would withstand the heat, and it does not. So you want something under it that's going to protect your work surface, because it did start to bubble my mat. I was able to lay something flat on it to um, lay it back down, and it was fine, but it did start to warp my mat. Okay, so once your laminator is ready, just go ahead and the folded side, feed it through. Mine does not have any settings on it. It's just on and off. And I'm not using a carrier sheet or anything, just the copy paper is going to be good enough for this. So now let me go ahead and open this up and peel the foil back. And look how gorgeous that turned out. So the foil stuck to everything from the laser printer. Isn't that stunning? So again, if you don't have a laser printer at home, you can take anything you want that you either print out or you could put it on a SD card and take it to a copy store and have them print it out for you. And then you can um, come home and foil it if you have some of the foil and a laminator. And mine was not an expensive laminator at all. I will put a link to the laser printer that I have. It's a fairly inexpensive laser printer that I got from Amazon. It's a brother printer. So I'll put a link for that down in the description box. Okay, so let's see what this one turned out like. That is absolutely beautiful. I did the border in the black ink as well. 
So now let me show you how you can use both a pattern print and the foil. Let me set this stuff aside and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did here is I printed two sayings out on my laser printer and here are the tags I want to print them out that I've already added my digital papers to. I've added ATG tape to the back of these. It will most likely rip this paper, so you'll probably want to use another tag on, for the back of it when we're done, and I'll show you that when we're done. Okay, so now I'm going to try and center this as best as I can. I'm not going to press it down, and I'm going to hold it up to a light I have above me. Actually, I want to do this one here. I'm just going to very gently lay that on here, hold it up to the light. And it looks like I need to move it over to the left just slightly. Again, I'm going to just carefully tack that down. I'm holding it up to the light and I can see right through my tag. And now that I'm happy with that, I'll press that down. I'll do the exact same thing with this tag here. I'm just going to try and center it. Okay, and that looks perfect. So now those are adhered down. I'm going to send these right back through my laser printer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I re-ran these right back through my laser printer, and now I'm going to peel them off. They will most likely rip. You can also just easily cut around if you're using a tag shape like this. You can easily cut around your tag shape. So I did these tags the exact same way. I first just printed them on my laser printer, excuse me, my inkjet printer, cut them out with my Cameo. And now for the wording, the wording is on the laser printer. So I've already cut out some um, foil for these. For this one I'm using black. Again, I will sandwich it in. You want the foil right side up. Make sure it covers it. I think I'll go ahead and take some of this adhesive off so it doesn't stick too much to my printer paper. If you're using, you can use either a reversible if it's a pretty strong one, or if you're using ATG, you can just kind of roll it off. It'll come right off. Okay, so I'm going to lay my black over it. and run it through my machine once again, starting with the folded side in. Got the results of this. Oh, that turned out gorgeous. So let's see how this one will turn out. And then the rest of it, you can just cut this off and save any of the excess. Oh, that's beautiful. I did also want to show you that you can use two different colors of foil. So I printed out this same Live Love Sparkle, and this has a beautiful green and pink in the design, so I thought I would use both. So just lay it over the part that you want it to cover. Again, sandwich it in your paper, and run it through. And here is what it looks like with two different colors of the foil. Absolutely beautiful. I'll have some detailed photos in the end also that hopefully it picks up just how pretty this is. And if it does miss a little spot, just find another piece with um, the foil on it and send it back through. So I hope you've enjoyed today's 
demonstration. As you can see, you can get so many different looks. Add a few bows. I added some seam binding to the top and some pearls to the center. And I really love how this turns out, especially using two different colors. This one, I ended up using the black, really pretty. This is the pink melon. This one here is pink melon and the lime. And then I use silver, gold, turquoise, tur turquoise and gold on this one. And this tag here is Echo Park I Love Fall, I believe is the collection. I used the lime on that, added a uh, brown cardstock backing and brown bow and a rhinestone to the center. So I really hope you've enjoyed today. Check out Blitzy. And again, I'll leave a referral code in the description below. I believe that if you sign up, you get $10 off your first order and $29 or more you get free shipping if that's still valid. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions on any of the colors, let me know.